Hello everyone, my name is Bruno Whitaker, but you probably know from my channel. And uh, recently, there's been a lot more censorship. You know, you can't say fuck or shit or damn it in the first eight seconds. I I guess I just did that, so if there's any chance of me making money here, uh, it's gone. But I want to talk about uh, ads and how... Are they for kids or not? I, I honestly don't know, because now I'm, I'm starting to see... I'm starting to see a couple ads that I don't really uh, agree with, and it's starting to get to me, so maybe this is a rant, I don't know, but the question is, is the censorship really for kids? And now, everyone already knows the answer is no, because one, YouTube kids is already a thing, and two, you can still have a ton of ads for other stuff, but I, I just want to get this off my chest, I guess, because of all the things that I've been seeing with uh, me being on YouTube. You know, this was done in the span of two days, I guess, one and a half days, uh, to be more specific. Just me scrolling down, uh, any ad I saw, I didn't skip any. These are just the first ones I encountered, and we'll just get down with them. It's like nine of them. I just want to talk about them since I want to hammer in how, no, it's not for kids. They're not doing this for kids, and it's stupid if anyone says they're doing it for kids. All right, the first one being... Uh, the expert wellness guide. Now, you know, yeah, be, being healthy is good for kids, but I don't expect kids being uh, interested in this, going to a vitamin shop. I don't think any kid is interested in that. They're probably more interested in Power Rangers or Dragon Ball or just anything that doesn't include being healthy, like eating your broccoli or something. So. Yeah, this is probably more adult-oriented. I don't think you would need to censor people just to have this up. But, hey, you know, that's that's not the worst of it. All right. That's thing, the MacBook Pro. Like, I, I get it. I get it. Kids love technology. Kids love phones and stuff. I just, I don't think they care about what kind it is, though. Because I think Temple Run will work on just about any modern phone. You know, you can get the, the cheapest one is like $80, but I don't think a kid cares about that. I don't think they care about the new Apple product. Maybe a 20-year-old may if they have a tech channel, but yeah, I don't think you need to censor things just so that Apple can stay on. Cause I don't think Apple cares. I think Apple knows people will still buy their stuff. Even if there is no censorship. But it's fine, you know, it's still not the worst thing. Still not the worst thing at all. That's dating site for geeks and nerds. Now, this one, I, I didn't ask for this. I, I don't know why I got this. I I don't do dating sites. I, I, I get that a lot of our ads are targeted based on your data and stuff. But no, I never wanted this. I don't know why this came to me. And... Yeah, not dev. I mean, it's definitely not for kids. So, yeah, you can't say that this whole censorship thing is just so you can have this because no, this is this is definitely adult oriented. It's, in my opinion, it is sad adult oriented because why not just go on a regular dating site instead of one where everyone this is geeky. I I I'm not gonna explore it, so I'm just gonna. I'm just going to infer that, yeah, maybe everyone is sort of just uh, derpy on it. But hey, you know, it's at least of my problems. And that's one I encountered, uh, Petco. You know, yeah, kids love dogs, but I don't think they care about going to Petco. I, I don't think your child will say, hey, hey, mommy, do you think we go to Petco? No, I, I don't think that'll ever happen. I think they'll say, can we get a dog? And that's it. They may say dog pound. I'm sorry. Dog pound! They may say dog pound, but they're not going to say Petco. It's definitely adult oriented. I don't think <laughs> uh, <laughs> videos of people eating cake made out of hair and vomiting it will affect how many people are interested in this. I don't think at all. All right. Uh, that's one. Dollar Tree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, kids, let's go to Dollar Tree. You know, I, I, yeah, kid, kids love going to Dollar Tree. The the cheapest 
place you can possibly go outside of a Goodwill, I guess. Goodwill might be more expensive, actually. Yeah, Goodwill's probably, yeah, Goodwill actually is more expensive. I got a belt there. It wasn't a dollar. It was like five dollars. So, yeah. Yeah, this, this is cheaper than Goodwill. Do you not think a kid would care about this? So, yes, the target they would grab for this would probably be maybe elderly people. Because they're the ones who care about finances the most. And the, of all things, Valentine's Day. Don't think kids care about Valentine's Day. I think we all figure out why. We've all been alive before we hit puberty. So you, you, you can get it, what I'm saying. All right, that's uh, Amazon's Jack Ryan. I've never owned Amazon, so I can't say this is because of data. I don't know why I was given this. I have never had Amazon at all. And frankly, if, if I did, I probably wouldn't watch Jack Ryan. I, I never got into it. You know, Tom Clancy seems like a cool guy, but no, I just never got into it. Don't think kids care about this, and this isn't even rated for kids. So, again, can't say this would be affected by the censorship. Wouldn't be at all. Yeah, and that's what, uh, Orphan's First Kill. Yeah, you know, it's a prequel to that uh, thing about a, a 30-year-old Russian woman disguising herself as a child, and then... Trying to have sex with her adopted father. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kid, kids love that. Kids love that. Yeah. Yeah, perfect for them. Not not at all adult-oriented. Yeah, we should we should censor the shit out of people so that more kids can see this. Not how that works. I get I'm exaggerating things, but at the same time, yeah, w when you realize how many people are just getting toned down, and then you see this, you go, maybe that's not necessary. Maybe it's not necessary because this seems to be more uh, egregious than the things that I'm seeing on YouTube, especially since this is a prequel. So you want me to go back uh, and watch the, the other stuff that this is based off of. Now, the next thing uh, being uh, number eight, Sportsbook DraftKings. Don't gamble. That's all I will say. I gambled once. I gambled exactly one time, so maybe the data just came around, I don't know, two years later, and he decided, hey, Brendan loves gambling two years ago, let's give him this. Possibly, but at the same time, you see these ads everywhere, so it's probably not just me. So yeah, it uh, doesn't make sense why everything's being censored when literal gam gambling, something that could potentially ruin your life and I, I can attest to that I I lost two hundred dollars on that fucking this is sort of confession I'm gonna confess I lost two hundred dollars on a the Jake Paul Mayweather fight I know I'm a dumbass I'm an idiot because of that but in my defense I did not do my research and it was two years ago I was I was younger back then <laughs> I was still an adult but I was younger back then just just forgive me. But yeah, needless to say, you don't need to get rid of anything inappropriate because at least those things won't potentially ruin your life or give you any addiction. You don't you don't want kids gambling. You hear that Fortnite? No gambling. They, they don't care. They, they, they don't care at all. CSGO, any of the other games, they, they don't care. Yeah, was it Madden? Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, they don't care. They still want kids to gamble because it makes money. But yeah, not for kids. It's pretty stupid. All right, the last one. It's not really that bad. Just uh, Grand Cherokee 2022, which I, I guess I guess may, maybe kids are into cars. I don't know what the kids are into nowadays. Maybe they they like this. Maybe it's like a Hot Wheels version of this. I'm not, I'm not sure. No, I could have had a, a tenth one, but I just said no. I don't want to make it top 10. This is just 9. These are all the recent things. I'm not going to go back. So yeah. All ads that I guess you couldn't have if you kept hair cake or any of the other things in the past. Jesus Christ. Filthy Frank. Uh, 
Man, it's just, I, I, though, that's all I got from the top of my head. But you get the point. None of this is affected by ads. And so the one conclusion you can make is it's probably just done to keep people down so that there's no possible criticism of YouTube. Now, I understand Hair Cake did not talk down to YouTube or Susan Wojcicki. I get that, but it's still it's still a gateway to that because it's basically saying we can do whatever we want. And I don't think YouTube wants that. I still think they just want everyone to be in a line of, say, I don't know, a, a kid's toy channel. A kid's toy channel, which probably isn't good for kids either because if you've seen them, Spider-Man and also Fecal Matter, that's not good. But yeah, I, I think that's just what YouTube wants. They don't want anything that seems out of line because it shows that someone just may do something on their own. And YouTube just doesn't want that. That being said, yeah, that's the conclusion I made of this. So uh, if you're interested, I have a book out, archwaypublishing.com, or link in the description. This is this pager. Follow me on Rumble, Odyssey, Minds, Locals, and uh, until next time, hope you liked my mini rant.